I still can't believe you went. What are you thinking? Going to that place. Wish you hadn't got yourself into this mess, but you did. You can't run forever. I know you were just trying to do right by me, so I need you to do what's right by us now, please, Cass. I am so tired of fighting. I just want it to be over. I want you home. The girls want you home, but... If you don't deal with this, then we are gone for good. I love you. But I won't wait forever. Sus. Jesus, Sus. Girls need your Christmas card. <laughs> Fucking Christmas. Kaz, Roy's finishing up breakfast if you want something. I'll, I'll be there in a minute, Trots. Aye, well, don't wait too long or someone will be up with you. Aye, yeah, all right. Aye, quite right, Trots. in this place. Well, Davy must have gone back on shore last night. All right, Kaz. I'm all right. What are you doing up there? Pipes leaking. If it's not one thing, it's the other. See this whole rig? It's a pile of shite. It's falling apart. And we've only just started drilling. Fucking Cadal. And fucking Rennick cutting corners. Aye. Speaking of... You are in the shite, wee man. Rennick got a letter this morning from the mainland and he's been up to a high do ever since. Heard he's gunning for you. Well, that's just brilliant. Christ, I need a smoke. Can I find my lighter anywhere? Take mine. I don't need it anymore, honestly. You're a fucking lifesaver. I'm going to get breakfast. All right. I'll see you for darts tonight. We'll put a wee picture of Rennick up on the board for you. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. See you. This is cosy. Casmel Mocker. I do. McClary! To my office. That means no. Not as soon as you're ready. No. Ah, the sweet sound of Davy Rennick. You think it's the Paulus? Can't be surprised, Cas. You hear from Suze? She's talking about divorce. Oh, I'm sorry, Cas. She'll come around. Not if I get to jail, she won't. Well, maybe you could have considered that while you were battering Billy Chamberlain's head in. Cunt slagged off, Susie. He had it coming. And there he is. Floats like a butterfly, stings like a bee, and swears like the devil himself. Listen, mate, even if it is the police, maybe it's best to just go back and face it, yeah? Ach, I don't know, Roy. I'm fucking scun up with the whole thing. The Lord loves you, mate, no matter what. And I'm pretty sure Suze does too. That's all clear for you now, Roy. Lovely job, thanks, Dobby. Oh, Trot says he's left your insulin in your cabin. Oh, bless his little communist socks. Muchly appreciated. Ta. Remember, life is like football. It's not over until the final whistle. Aye. You're a Barnsley fan, so you're pretty much fucked from the off, right? Oh, I will see you hand for that McCleary. Off you trot, lad, before his nibs blows a gasket. 
Look, there's no escaping. There's going to be a dozen mere rigs up here by the end of next year because the pricks in Westminster want their grubby wee hands on Scotland's oh, oil. Christ, no this again. The bear is already down to the bare bones. And Cadal are just going to make more cuts to get other rigs on the go. If we don't take industrial action soon, oh, this place... come on! If we don't take industrial action soon, this place will be even more of a death trap than it already is. He's got a point, though, Gibble. We're down to a skeleton crew in the pontoons, and it's ropey as fuck down there. Workers of the world unite! What do you think, Kaz? <sighs> I don't know. Just here it affects the lecky. <laughs> What do you think will be keeping the lights on if this place falls apart? That's coal, you numpty. See what the score is. Well, all right to get by, pal. It's all right. You have to go around, Kaz. Fellas, McCleary. No, I can scale finish here all by myself. <laughs> no, we're all right. Cheers, though. Fair enough. You want to transfer here, McCleary? You give me less lip. No, he loves it. McCleary, my office. I don't make me ask again. In a better mood today, is he? It'll be all right, guys. You get used to it. We all get a turn. Try not to punch him. <laughs> no promises. Give me a minute to check. It is fair again, I can see from here. Grill crew will love that. Brevet will love it even more. You're telling him. I told him last time, this one's all yours. All right, Roper, what's the problem? Don't usually see you down here. Ah, Drill's acting up this morning. Got the crew running around like blue ass flies, but they cannot make head or tail of it. Is that you's behind schedule then? Oh, no, not yet. And uh, not if the gods are smiling on us. So mere fuck than ever. Poor as fucked as you by the sounds of it. Look, you better get up there. The boss man sounds raging. So, how long will that take? Four turns in, but might be two, three weeks before it's shipped like. I can patch it, but we'll need to keep an eye. Maybe say a prayer and all. Stay on the path, mate. A cargo hoist will crush you if you get close. McLean it! Jesus, Scooby. Give me a heart attack. Oh, sorry, mate. Can I ask a wee favour? Where do you need, Scoob? Oh, could you do me a quick fix on the crew lift fuse box while you're down there? Aye, no bother. Oh, you're a lifesaver, mate. And don't let the big man get you down, all right? Thanks, pal.
hell? You'll be fucking go. Enter! Ah, Mr. McClary. So glad you could join me and sorry to have got you out of bed. Shut the door and have a seat. No, I'm fine, Stan. The set your ass in that chair, you fucking liability. But I don't... I run a tight ship. Do you understand me? A tight ship. Technically, it's not a ship. Shut your gub, you Ned prick! I am sick, sick to fucking book on you wee gub sites messing with my operation. That chef might be a mate of yours, but he does not run things around here. I do. Do you understand me? All right, why don't you just get on with it? Don't you answer me back! You might be the height of shite on shore, McClary, but out here, I am the fucking king. Do you understand me? You bring the polis to my door, to my rig. Uh, I, I can sort this, right? I just need time. Shut it, you clatty gobshite. I've got here's a man who can make a more positive contribution to this operation than you. Look, I know Shut you. it! I'm in a meeting. What? Fuck's sake, Gibbo, I don't care. We're on a schedule. It's a fucking drill. You've got a fucking drill, so drill through it. Yeah, well, Roper's a whiny old fud. He's got a problem with everything. I don't care if it feels half. Just fucking do it! Or I'll come down there myself! Is that uh, trouble with the missus? You're fired. You hear me? Fired. Come on, man. It's only a wee bit of trouble with the polis. I'm good with the lecky. I keep things running. You said it yourself. Out! Get off my rig! Aye. Happy New Year to you too, you cunt. Running for you guys. Jesus, Gregor! Gregor! Christ, that you're a right pair. Two bars and a ball bag. Now, listen, Pat. I promise I'll take care of him. I had a word with our Kieran. You remember him? You know, he's Billy Chamberlain from way back. He owes me a favour. Reckons you can sweeten Billy up a bit. Come on. Have I ever let you down? Roy, you lost the cake at the wedding. N now then, now then. That, that wasn't my fault. You left it on a bench at Argyle Street. Aye, you were that bloated you didn't even remember baking the cunt. Oh, my children, that was before the light of the Lord came to me. Here we fucking go. Uh, and you, Mr. McCleary, you can fuss and cuss all you like. But perhaps if you went to the Saracens a little less and the tabernacle a little more, then perhaps you'd not be in this pickle, eh? Don't, don't look at me. You're the one who decided to spend the next four months trapped on our egg with this bampot. Susan, I promise you, I promise you, we will get this straightened out. I will. You'd better. <laughs> Guys! Christ! He's got gold! Shit! Guys! Get his leg! We can't leave him out here! Move! Fuck! Cash! I think he's dead! Uh, we got you, man, alright? We got you! He's breathing, thank Christ! Kaz? Come on! Wake up, Kaz! Why is he not waking up? Can you hear me? Is he gonna die, Brody? <laughs> Kaz?
My heat's killing me, but... Aye, aye, I think so. You got me out. Did you get Gregor? I got you, aye. I couldn't find Gregor. Fuck. I'm sorry, Kaz. Jesus. He's not the only one we lost. Oh, no, no. Rass is still in there. Why aren't these working? Kaz, I need you to help me. Kaz! What? Right. Aye, what, what do you need? The cable's stuck. Go down and release the main brake, then come back up and raise the bell. If you can get it to my level, I think I can get him out. Aye. Raffs, it's all right, we're getting you out. We'll be two minutes, pal. Nobody knows, but whatever it was, it was big. You were lucky, trust me. Douglas is trying to find out Mayor, like if the bear is even safe now. What's wrong with rafts? I don't know, all right. Decompression shouldn't have been this bad. Oh, I shouldn't have let him go down there. I said I'd look after him. I'm here, rafts. It's pro day. I'm going to get you out. Uh. Is there anything there I can do? No, I'll get him. We need to know what's going on up top. You'll need to go through engineering. The way up is blocked from here. Where's engineering for here? I've never been doing this end before. The only way you'll get there is to go under the rig. Should be a clearer path down there. All right, go head down now. Oh, fuck. 
can help. Just get across. Is that Jesus. seen a ghost. Who's making that noise? Gibble. He's making that racket. You should be no find him. Help him. No. Oh, when I recommend that. What does that mean? It means he's no alright. After that explosion, he got oil or some shit on him and just... I don't know. He freaked out. Went for me. He's still out there. You mean out here? As in out here with me? Aye. That's exactly what I mean. Oh, that's just fucking brilliant. You seen anyone else? I just go here. Where are you going anyway? Back to accommodation. Listen, you'll have to get through the water tanks to get up to accommodation. And quiet like. Gotta go all the way up there. Jesus. And what about Gibble? Stay the fuck away from me. You're listening to me. It's no right, cuz. I'm not arguing. Cuz. Be fucking careful, eh? Aye. You know.
Fuck. Ah!
Jesus. God, stop. Shit. Fuck. God, stop thinking about it. Just stop thinking about it. Jesus. Is anyone here? Hello? If there's anybody here, fucking say something! McCleary here? Cut. It's O'Connor. I've got Bruce and Fergus with me. You know what's going on? No, but we hit something. You need to get out of there. You don't need to tell me twice. Listen, something's wrong in engineering. It's not safe. We'll go through the leg and come up through the underrick. Rennick better give the evacuate. O'Connor? You have to go through accommodation, it's all blocked. Do you hear me? O'Connor! I'm going woke. Christ, that stuff is rank. Is that you? I can't hear you, man. Open the door. George, the door's blocked. I can't get to you. What's up, wee man? Are you hurt? Jesus Christ. Jesus, George! George! Fire! Get in, quick. Thank God you're all right. Jesus, what are you doing in here? What do you think I'm doing in here? What the bloody hell is going on? I don't know. People are dying, Roy. Dead? Who? who who's, who's dead? How? Douglas. Trotz, I think. I, I don't know. It's, it's this thing. I, I think it's doing something to people. I don't know what to believe, you know what I mean? I do, I really do. I saw something out on the deck. I didn't stay to look. It just scared the shit out of me. I should barricade the door. We can't hide, Roy. We have to get off this rig right the fuck now. Well, without Rennick say so. Roy, did you hear Rennick? What, you think we're getting evacuated? He'd want everybody back at work if we were at the bottom of the North fucking Sea. <sighs> right. The lifeboats, then? Aye. You stay. Barricade the door. Let me clear a path, and once we're ready to go, I'll come and get you, right? I'll be here, don't worry. Getting some extra prayers in. <laughs> uh, we're gonna need them. Gaz, um... You, you won't leave me. Uh, it's bloody terrifying out there. I... I'm not leaving you, Pat. I wouldn't blame you if you did, mate. I mean, you got all the food in here for a start. <laughs> Listen. Get your man upstairs on the case. And I'll see you soon, right?
anybody in here? How am I going to get down there? Joking me. Oh, thank Christ. Here it is. Okay, right. Looks easy enough. <sighs> Halfway out of here. One more. position. Nearly out of this. No chance. Who's that? Renick. It's me, Kaz. McClary, what the fuck are you doing to my lifeboats? It's gone. It's just fell off into the fucking sea. You must have done it wrong. Fuck off, Renick. You built this fucking thing, not me. Who's with you? Uh, Roy's in the canteen. Finley and Brody are alive. Listen to me, McClary. Get your ass up to the chopper pad, bring anyone else you can find to, and whatever you do, don't touch this stuff all over the bearer. I can't, I can't get back out. There's a safety door, the railings are all gone. For God's sake, do I have to tell you how to do everything? Give the door a tidy kick at the bottom, it'll open right enough. What about you? Just concentrate on getting to the pad, don't worry about me. You see, Renick? What? Well, does this mean we're okay, like? They hard feelings. Get to fuck, McClary, and when you get back, fuck off again. I'd be happy to see you drown, but I'm not having your death on my fucking record. Go on your cell, you old fud. <sighs> fuck, cheap 
bastard. Guys, Ennis, what's going on? Jesus, I, I need help. I, I don't know what to do. Just... What was that? Something's happened to me. Something's happened to me. Something's happened to me. Something's happened to me. Ennis. Ennis! Get him. Fuck, Suze, I'm sorry. Stuff is taking over. Christ. Don't fucking fall. Don't fucking fall. God.
Roy! He's blowing the door. The freezer vent. I God. You all right? Jesus, you look terrible. Do not go down those fucking stairs. What the hell is going on? Uh, trots. I, I think it was trots. And then it's just fucking horrible, whatever it is. Just stay in here and keep quiet. Did you get to the lifeboats? Yeah. Fuck knows if they ever work, but they definitely don't fucking work now. I had a wee chat with Renick about it while I was out there. How did that go? Badly. The cunt still reckons we should get to the bird. You think? You got a better idea? Cuz, mate, I'm not gonna make it over the deck. I'm not feeling so good, pal. I think I need my insulin. What? You're fucking kidding, Roy. Now? Oh, I'm sorry to inconvenience you, Mr. Bloody Fit and Healthy. I tell you what, I'll have a little chat with my pancreas, shall I, and tell it to pull its socks off. Right, all right, fuck's sake. Could you not just eat some fucking jam or something? Oh, bloody hell, the man's a medical genius. I'll get on the blower to Dr. fucking Spock and tell him not to panic. We've solved diabetes here. It's fucking McCoy. No Spock. He was the point of your cunt. <laughs> <laughs> you think you can manage to get to your cabin? You've summoned there, aye? Hey? I'll get to the helipad. Make sure that cunt doesn't he try leaving without you. All right. I'm not useless. I can get there. Listen, uh, uh, when, when you get to the chopper, tell Archie to radio in the support ship. We, 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 we need all the fucking help we can get, Kaz. All right, big man, all right. Just be careful, OK? My girls need their godfather in one piece. Don't like the sound of that. Whatever it is. I have to get across to the bird. My Christ, I can barely see the lift to get there with this fog. All personnel, this is an evacuation order. I guess I wasn't clear enough the first time. That means get to the helipad now. It's your responsibility to get there and we will be leaving with or without you. So that bastard thinks he can fucking leave us. Almighty. Guys, Jesus, Ennis. What are you doing up there? That thing will see you. That thing? It's Muir, guys. It's fucking Muir. Muir. Jesus. I... Christ. I don't understand, guys. Listen, we have to get to the helipad, all right? I tried talking to him, but he came for me. Like, he didn't care me at all. It's no him anymore, Ennis. There's nothing we can do but leave. Save who we can. Aye, uh, uh, you're right. 
The only way up is the crew lift. We won't let anyone leave. Then we need to get past them. Uh, all right. I'll see you there. But hey, then he'd be a hero if he hears me, all right? And then don't let him hear you. See you at the lift. There's a lift. Not far now. Christ, Dobby. He's still in there. came down and we're right crabs in a creel now. Are, are those the hoist controls behind the fence? Maybe I can shift it. All right. You're a good lad, Kaz. No way.
Go back and get them. Like hell we should. You saw them. They're gone. Get a move on. Archie! Renick! We have to give them more time. To told them to come. What I told them is that we are leaving. Kent better than to let you two out the gather. The two greatest minds of your generation united over a bucky. Nobel Prize Committee will be warming up their checkbooks already. Do you seriously, seriously think if you leave the country, this will all just blow over? No one's going to chase me out into the middle of the North Sea. My mum always said I'd married beneath me, Kaz, but I thought you were smarter than this. I'm fucking doing my best. No, no, you're not doing your best. What do you know about oil rings, you roaster? I'm good with the lecky. Terrace houses, cars, flats, maybe a shop, but you're feeling adventurous. Roy's put in a word. He said I'm up to the job. Oh, for, for God's sake. Roy's a cook. He's a chef. He's a cook. It's just for a few weeks. We'll just let it cool down a bit. And then I'll call Billy Chamberlain and have a word. Talk him into dropping the charges. If you run the police, I'll give you the jail for sure. <sighs> when are you leaving? No more, Mona. You are shitting me, McCleary. It's the girls' school concert. I'm fucking scum, Suze. What do you want from me? I'm just saying this, Kaz. If you leave us, if you run, if you go, then we are done. Hear me. <laughs> 